How do companies today increase capacity of their existing assets without having to go out and add additional capital or additional expenditures to meet their production or, or customer demands? Uh, is a, a, a question that businesses are faced with every day today. Um, there, there's many different ways you can attack that. Uh, first and foremost, you have to understand how your equipment today is performing. And, and that performance is based on several different measurements. It's based on uh, how many hours are you currently running that piece of equipment? Are you running a, a one hour or a one day shift, excuse me, an eight hour shift? Are you running 16 hours a day or is it a 24 seven kind of operation? So there's obvious uh, ways to get capacity out of off shifts if, if that's the approach you wanna take. You also have to get into the speeds and feeds of that piece of equipment and understanding are we running the machine at its design standard? Or are we running it uh, below that? Oftentimes companies uh, over time allow machines to slow down, pieces of equipment to slow down unintentionally that over time slowly erode the capacity of that piece of equipment. And, and by zeroing in and really focusing in on, on why is that machine running slower, you can fix problems both in quality and in throughput by picking that pace up. And, and then the third one is, is around unplanned, un, unexpected breaks or downtime in your pieces of equipment. Um, companies uh, have sporadic stops that are a few minutes each day or a few minutes each hour that occur. And then they have the catastrophic failures. And, and it really comes down to understanding what is happening for your business and, or for your piece of equipment, excuse me, and how you're going to utilize or improve those performance metrics of it. And it comes down to an asset management program and understanding which pieces of equipment are critical to you and really zeroing in on those to, to help boost that productivity, boost that production rates that you need. It's, um, it also gets down to understanding what the needs are of your organization and the needs of the customer and, and balancing both of those against each other. There's trade-offs no matter how you uh, try and increase that capacity, there's trade-offs that you have to understand and weigh. Uh, but, but typically there are ways to, to, to capture capacity out of any given piece of equipment or asset in the organization to help you attain your customer's requirements, your, your business requirements without expending a lot of cap capital and, and expenditures to accomplish that.